the uh, Sean from SRKCycles.com. That that Sean. Uh, 2005 Kawasaki Vulcan Classic 800, the VN 800. It's got Cobra pipes. I also have bags for it. They're my truck. It's got good tires. Pretty clean looking bike. Um, check out the, uh, it's got a Mustang seat. Check out the test drive video, or check out the walk around, no, yeah, check out the walk around video. This is the test drive video. We're gonna take this thing for a spin. See how it runs. It's been a little while since I've ridden one of these. It's a little smaller frame bike. The brakes feel real nice and tight. Take the choke out. I mean, put the choke in. I'm 6'2", so I might feel a little too big on it, but I've definitely ridden, uh, I have owned and ridden smaller bikes than this, and I got by. It's nice and light. It's definitely a good, uh, you know, entry level or mid level bike. You know, if you're coming off like a 250 Rebel, this would be a good step up for you. Or if you're just, uh, if you're a bigger fella or a grown man or you feel like this is, that you can handle something like this, this might be a great first bike. The 800cc has got good power. It's by no means fast, but it's definitely a lot of fun, because all motorcycles are fun. The cable clutch feels really light. Light to the touch, you know what I mean? The clutch feels fine. It only has 15,000 miles on it. It's a beautiful day out. This is normal for us to see stuff like this in Lancaster County. Sometimes you'll see an Amish buggy, sometimes you'll see a tractor. The polite thing to do is just drive around them as fast as you can yelling stuff. No, just kidding, don't do that. That scares the horses. This bike's a good, it's a, it's a good run of bike, very smooth. Uh, the carburetor's nice and tuned. I mean, I, had, I only had it on choke for a little while, and it fired right up on a cold start, which is always a good sign. It's not spitting and sputtering or nothing like that. It just it feels just like a fuel-injected bike would. Bangs through all the gears real nice and easy. Nice and nice and light. I got my gloves on. Gloves are, it's a nice warm day out, but gloves are not for keeping you warm. The gloves are for protection and for punching stuff. Remember that. Carbon fiber knuckles. Punching stuff. Beautiful day out, guys. Guys, like most bikes, this is a fun bike. It's enjoyable. It's easy to ride. It feels nimble. You can just you can just hop on and ride it, and you can just enjoy the day, enjoy the enjoy the beautiful scenery, enjoy the wind. What's there not to be happy about? Um, there's tons of people who have stuff to be happy about, but but let's not forget. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Good Friday. 
Good Friday, guys. Because of what happened on Good Friday, it gives everybody, no one has an excuse to not be happy. Nobody. Too high of a gear. Here's the church that I turn around in. I know nothing about this church. Don't even know what it's called, but I spent a lot of time in the parking lot. Good Friday, of course, is the Friday before Easter. And it's Good Friday because that's the day that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, died for the sins of the world. That is a biblical and historic fact. Jesus of Nazareth did die on the cross. I don't know, I guess 33 AD. As a fact. He also raised on the he also raised from the dead three days later on Easter Sunday. That's why we celebrate Easter. <coughs> Easter Sunday. <clears throat> so we all have something happy and exciting to be uh, happy about. <clears throat> guys, loving this bike. I hope you guys all have a uh, all have a good Easter. All have a good Good Friday. And if you're seeing this after the video, I hope you had a good Easter and a good, good Friday. Spent time with your family. Spent time with the Lord. <clears throat> Alright guys, this bike is going to be for sale. It's going to be... Pretty inexpensive, probably right around 3,000 bucks. I ship bikes all over the country. Most of which shipping has never exceeded 700 bucks, but the average shipping price anywhere close to the East Coast is around like 300, 300 bucks. That's cheap, I've ne I have never had a customer not 100% satisfied with the bike that showed up at their door. I'm brutally honest with the description of my bikes. It does not pay. It does not pay for me to lie to people. If you see how many bikes I have in my dealership, in the shop, it does not pay for me to be dishonest to people. That would ruin the business. One bad review could be very hurtful. So, how do I fix that? I don't pay people off when they give me a bad review. I just tell people what they're buying. I tell them exactly what they're buying. It seems like the easiest way for me to do business and uh, it's been working out. <clears throat> Last thing I want is, a, is a, a customer that's like, hey, this isn't what I wanted. That's an unhappy customer, and then they become not a customer, and... So, most of the bikes I get, get shipped. They get shipped all over the country. My number's gonna be listed below. This bike's gonna be 3,000 bucks. It's gonna sell fast. It's a great bike. It's a lot of fun to ride. You will not be... After you watch this video, and after you watch the walk around video, you will not be disappointed with your purchase. Vulcan Classic. Check this out. Check this big bounce house they got inflated up there. It's a bounce house company. I'm gonna go play on that as soon as I'm done doing these test drives. <clears throat> Alright guys, subscribe to the channel. Look down below, subscribe. And if you're interested in this bike, uh, give me a call. I'll put my number down below. Thank you.